Happy Halloween, boys and ghouls! Not only is this the holiday to celebrate all things spooky and popular, it also happens to be the three year anniversary of our Discord, and this is a video I've always wanted to make, but have been too busy this time of year to actually do. Why do we tell scary stories? Horror is one of the oldest genres in all of fiction. They usually served as a cautionary tale to keep kids from misbehaving. Don't go out into the woods or you'll be gobbled up by a werewolf. Don't make deals with strangers because they might be the devil. Using monsters or ghosts as manifestations of our societal fears, both real and perceived, has always been a good way to scare audiences. But can it have the reverse effect? Frankly, yes. Alfred Hitchcock once said he made movies about his fear so that he may conquer them. And you see that a lot by just how many evolutions the horror genre has taken. Just in the 90 years or so since Nosferatu was first projected on screen, the greatest fear humanity has is of the unknown. This is actually a very rational fear. We fear spiders when we don't know which ones are harmless and which ones are poisonous. Same can be said of people. Just as a very real and politically charged example, here in America, we have a hard time trusting people from the Middle East. Yes, we know 99.99% of these people are harmless and a vast majority of them are very good people, but it only takes one bad egg to execute an atrocity like 9-11, and so the fear, though irrational, is rooted in something real and tangible, and the same goes for many movie monsters. Dracula might not be real, but he's an allegory for the Eastern European aristocracy that was figuratively drained the lifeblood of the peasantry through taxation. People back then had to deal with sickness and poverty while the rich aristocrats lived it up in their sanitized castle. The object lesson being vampires aren't real, but tax collectors are. The Wolfman was a manifestation of an internal fear brought about by Darwinism, the fear that we aren't any different from the animals we hunt for food. Jekyll and Hyde preyed on equally internal fears that even good people are capable of evil. Frankenstein was a cautionary tale about why you shouldn't play God. Double that for Jurassic Park. And as we became more aware of our own shared humanity, we started dreaming up extraterrestrial foes. The Predator is just a douchey alien hunter that treats us humans the way we've treated elephants and the like. War of the Worlds was an anti-invasion allegory where the Martians were the stand-in for the British and the British took the role of the African tribes the Empire had been slaughtering. And Alien, my personal favorite horror movie, is a giant rape allegory. Powerful men prey on innocent women, and so this phallic extraterrestrial monster preys on men. District 9 is by no means a horror film, but it shares this aspect with sci-fi horror by being about the horrors of apartheid. In the 60s and 70s, serial killers were widespread, and so our monsters became bullied, disenfranchised men looking for revenge. Throw in a few messages on the dangers of premarital sex, and you have Jason from Friday the 13th or Michael Myers from Halloween. And this is why horror has tended to suck lately. And by lately, I mean ever since the 90s. In the 90s, the cultural zeitgeist had nothing to fear, so they focus on tongue-in-cheek parodies. Horror thrives when it puts you, the viewer, in the place of the protagonist, making you fear what they fear. And it completely flounders when it breaks that immersion and becomes more preoccupied with humorous references. Horror has gotten better since the days of Scream by leaning into the most ever-present fear in history the fear of death. Death is the ultimate unknown. We can have faith in an afterlife that suits us, but faith only goes so far. Unlike spiders and human nature and rich people, death is one thing science will never be able to breach. Everything dies eventually and nobody will ever know what happens next until they die. And when they die, it's too late and they'll never be able to report their findings. This is why throughout the whole of human history, ghost stories are so compelling. There's something terrifying and also wishful about being stuck between life and death. And many people find the ideas of spirits strangely comforting. This is why movies like The Conjuring and Sinister have struck such a chord with audiences. As for zombies, I never found them scary, but I do find some interpretations interesting even if losing my mind to commercialism or losing my humanity through a lack of love isn't something I've ever been afraid of. I also just fail to see the logic, like their muscles are deteriorating. There's no way an actual zombie outbreak would collapse society. Halloween as a holiday is the perfect example of what I've been talking about. It may actually be the least scary holiday. It's not about scaring people, it's about conquering your fears, 
Look at that ghost. Isn't he silly? That witch looks goofy. Let's laugh at her. Why would I be scared of some skeletons when I'm my favorite superhero? I've always found this dynamic fascinating, and I encourage all of you to think about your favorite horror movies in this context. What are you afraid of? What movies have tapped into that fear? And if you have, how did you conquer those fears? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Mediocrity4. Thanks for watching.